everyone, this is your instructor George. Today, so today we're going to talk about how to clean our violin. So for this uh, chapter or YouTube video, you will need a well-used dirty violin and well-used bow. Then you need two different types of soft cloth. It could be microfiber or cotton, anything soft. Stay away from nylon. So one for dry use, one for we're gonna make it a bit wet. And this scrubber, I'm sure you've seen this one before. Very inexpensive, easy to find. I just cut it small so that I can squeeze in my violin case. Then you could use, if you happen to have a linseed oil, that's a good. If not, any mineral oil that you use for your body, will do. So I'm going to use today the mineral oils, which is a bit easier for us to find. Okay, so you're wondering what's wrong with not cleaning the violin? Why can't I just leave violin after use? It's just sounding somewhat fine. The problem with uh, not cleaning it up every time is that you can see there's always rosin built in there on the string and then on the, on the wood here. So if you forget to clean too many times, it will stuck on the wood. Uh, which later you have to use stronger um, substance, maybe even chemical, to clean those, which can take the varnish off the violin. So wood without varnish, it's not a good idea. So it's, uh, even though it's a little work every time, but it's highly recommended to clean after every use. So now, uh, I know some people use a uh, different type of clean, cleaning method or cleaning products, uh, often chemical. I don't like to use that because if by accidentally, if it drops on my uh, varnish or the violin, that could damage the varnish, so I don't like to use any of those. However, I use a simple dish scrubber. What I do is I just scratch a bit to clean the built rosin on each string. So you go, it's a little squeaky, but you have to be a little patient each string then oops then I like to go on the sideways a bit so to scrape all rotten build in the string yeah then using this dry cloth cotton or microfiber you just clean each string until it squeaks a lot I know it's quite unpleasant but a little bit patient this will help your sound better so each one really scrape it yeah then I like to go underneath under the fingerboard where it collects the dust of the rosin easily at the end of the tailpiece and then under the tailpiece as well under the chin rest don't forget the side where it collect the shoulder um, rotten dust easily and the scroll and the neck and there would be a simple cleaning so you can do the same thing or similar thing with a bow loosen your bow hair first once you're done so make sure you're dealing with a very thin stick of wood so be very gentle not much pressure please put a the soft cloth through the between stick and hair just gently back and forth two or three times will be enough then there's a little rosin built in. I like to do that bit between wood and the hair. Also near the frog, I like to clean a bit. Voila, and that's it. That's it enough for the daily cleaning. Let's say you have a bit more time and you want to um, do a little, give a little shine, a little thorough cleaning. Then after this one, what you could do is uh, using mineral oil, or linseed oil, whichever you like, or whichever you can find, you can give extra protection. So the way you do it is, use the other cloth, which we're gonna make it wet, not the dry one. Then just drop a couple drops of mineral oil, not too much, be very gentle, just a couple drops. Let's see. What, oops. <laughs> that was a bit too much than I wanted, but like this. Oops, <laughs> sorry, this is how little that is. And then rub it, then 
basically you're cleaning the leftover stuck rosin. Just go gently circle and then here. Do not go on the string because you don't want be you don't want oil on your string because then that will prevent from sounding good. So just on the wood and I like to go under the fingerboard and also here. And on the side because that's where the rosin gets built in easily. The other one too. And then back. Let's scroll. Yeah. Then with a dry cloth, you want to wipe it off the excess oil that's in the body. You can see it's already beautiful and shiny. But give one more cleaning with a dry cloth. So not the same one. Or the other one. Or you can use the same one, but the part where it doesn't have rosin, for example, you could do that too. So just clean it. Like that. So as you can see, voila. It's a beautiful, nice clean and shiny. Yeah, so you give a little oil protection and then you clean the rosin well. Yeah, so if you keep like that, your balance should um, also um, sound beautiful because you clean all the excess dirt on each string and also you should your violin should stay well in healthy way because you're keeping uh, the dirt before it gets stuck to the wood yeah i hope this video was helpful and please remember to subscribe and share my videos